folks, welcome back. This is part two of the Keycloak and React.js integration video. So um, in the first video, um, we talked about how to integrate React.js and Keycloak. And um, you saw how to access uh, information from the access token, how to secure um, parts, components, um, of the application for certain user roles and uh, today I want to show you how to um, achieve um, th so that a user can uh, see public pages and um, protected pages. Um, this is also again our application. Um, I hopefully you know this from the first time and um, uh, as you remember this application was secured or is secured completely uh, so there's no public part um, you have to authenticate when you want to work with this application and today we want to add um, a public part uh, to the application where the user can uh, press a button uh, where he can log in himself so let's uh, dig into the source code. Um, hopefully you also remember this uh, render on roll component um, I created the, the first time. And based on this, I created uh, two other components, a render on anonymous and a render on authenticated. And here I'm uh, checking all, if the user is logged in. If the user is logged in, then I'm rendering the children. Um, this is for authenticated and for anonymous I'm rendering the children only if the user is not authenticated, is not logged in. So this is uh, the function I added to uh, the well-known user service and um, here you can see it's logged in, just checking if the token is available and um, yeah um, let's um, do this, um, build this into our book box application so this is the source code we want to render if uh, we are authenticated and um, I just have to add the uh, render on authenticated uh, component as a wrapper and uh, closing the uh, fragment again because we need this fragment because we now an, um, have the uh, render on anonymous node where we um, yeah, render something when the user is not authenticated. Just copying um, some things from uh, the bottom. Um, and we say, hello, anonymous, please log in. And in this button, we're changing the login to the, uh, the logout to the login button calling the dual login function and we have another um, color of the button this is uh, the orange the warning color and this is what we have to do in our um, component or view just to uh, have a node of render on anonymous and render on authenticated and um, we have to extend our user service a bit because now we don't uh, want to force um, the user to log in if um, the user is not uh, authenticated. We just want to call the unauthenticated callback directly um, uh, if uh, the check SSO will return from the Keycloak server and um, render the application and the application itself um, controls which uh, node will be will be rendered. Uh, of course, you can put this also uh, uh, at another level for the um, uh, router and um, wrap the, the routes um, with some render on authenticated or render on anonymous, so that certain routes are not uh, uh, routes are not available if the user is not um, authenticated. But we're sticking with the book box component um, where we have the two um, render nodes and um, calling directly um, and I already have uh, extended the HTTP service with a check if the user service is logged in to create the authorization on the backend requests only if um, the user is 
uh, logged in, is uh, authenticated, but otherwise we would get an error. So um, yeah, this should be um, enough to have all of the things uh, we need. Um, let's have a look at the application. Let's switch and we are still uh, logged in. Now we log out and hey, we have a login page or a, a welcome page for, for Anonymous requests. Hello Anonymous, please log in. We have the login button in orange and now we can um, log in, authenticate ourselves. We're logged in, we're seeing the welcome um, screen with all uh, the book lists and we can again log out and we're seeing the Anonymous page. So that's all you have to do um, in your application. Just um, create some uh, render on uh, condition um, components and to uh, wrap your nodes, your pages, your components, your views, whatever, uh, with your uh, render on conditional um, uh, components and uh, extend some a bit the HTTP service calling uh, your callback directly when uh, returning from uh, check SSO from the Keyclock server. And yes, that's all you have to do. And of course, also this is uh, located in the Keyclock React.js demo on GitHub. And you can find the link to this um, repository in the description of this video. So thanks for watching Keycloak and React.js integration. Uh, I hope you had fun watching the video and if you have any questions put it in the comments so that I can answer it. If you want to see any other topics covered in a short clip of me um, just also put it in the comments. Um, yeah, just um, evaluate all the stuff for you and uh, Give me some thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future recordings. And see you. Bye.